watching Nichols basketball on ESPN. Basketball comes to Bayou Lafourche this afternoon when Central Arkansas visits Nichols. We welcome viewers on ESPN3 and ESPN Australia and New Zealand. South Platte Conference basketball from Thibodeau, Louisiana is straight ahead. You're watching South Platte Conference basketball on ESPN3 and ESPN Australia and New Zealand. Today, the Central Arkansas Bears come to South Louisiana to face the Nichols Colonels. Seven on the shot clock. Bell pulls up, takes a three, and rings the bell. Jonathan Bell, that's his 22nd three-pointer of the season, and it gives Nichols a 3-0 lead. This is Thomas at the top, gets rid of it on the left side to Rioye, and another three ball is up and in. Ring the bell a second time for Jonathan Bell. Sure enough, it landed right in his lap and an easy lay-in. That should never happen. Thomas flashing to the lane, gets the feed, and the seven-footer stuffs it. Well, the Bears would like to see that never happen, but that's going to be tough. We mentioned the size advantage Nichols has. They can establish him on the inside. It's going to be a long day. And the running game going now for Nichols as Jadante Fry is on the receiving end of the Jonathan Bell assist. 12 each, 14 minutes left in the first half. This for three, and it's on the money by Shane Relier. Schmidt averages about nine minutes a game, and another three is run home by Shane Relier. Central Arkansas in the dark uniform. Jordan Howard, who's averaging 18 a game, and better than that in league play, has not scored, and he has not been involved in the offense. There's a nice defensive rebound by Jadante Fry at 6-4, the junior from hometown Thibodeau. The 11 minutes and 20 seconds are left in what has been an up-tempo first half and a well-shooting first half. And there Brooks, is Derek Brooks again. Derek Brooks has decided to put on a show this afternoon. He's 6-for-6, six six, including 3-for-3 three three from deep with 15 points already. With the left hand, it's left on the rim. The big fellow's got it, muscles it up with the left hand, and scores. Kyle Cottle, who is a graduate student here at Nichols by way of Boston College. And quickly, Central Arkansas comes back and counters. Brooks has 17 points. Has he missed a shot? No. This from way back. T.J. Carpenter strokes one. 31-28. Nichols trails on its own court. This for three. Left side. Nestled over the rim by uh, by T.J. Carpenter. Carpenter's got a pair of those. He's coming off a game where he scored 18 points on 5 of 11 shooting in that last game against Sam Houston. He's from tiny Sibley, Louisiana, in the northern corridor of the state. Another three ball. Rip it. My goodness. Carpenter. And there have been a lot of guys in this game in a big offensive rhythm already. I wonder if they know that this has been international broadcast and they want to impress the folks watching on a Sunday morning. Well, they've impressed everybody here on Saturday afternoon as Liam Thomas from Sydney, Australia, pulls down the rebound. Another three in the air. Oh, it's a heat check. It's a heat check. He's feeling it. T.J. Carpenter has hit four in a row from out court. Averaging 17, making 18 a game. But about five points more than that in conference play. And Carpenter, 39-34. The offensive pace here has been impressive. And the beautiful lob to the finisher, Adam Ward. It has been nip and tuck, hammer and tong here in the first half. And splitting the defenders and laying it in is Relier with a quick first step yeah. to blow by a would-be defender. Nichols 47. Central Arkansas 43. Nichols in the first half was paced by Carpenter with 14. Relier now has 12. Bell. Snaking inside, Zulhoff defended well. Bell got it back and then hands it off for the flush by Thomas. Our scouting report for Central Arkansas is basically this is a team as T.J. Carpenter gets his own loose ball and scores. He's got 16, but the Bears known as a team 
who can score a lot of points. They don't defend very well at this point of the season. And look at Nichols coming to work again. A left-handed scoop by Jonathan Bell. He's got 10. Three points shy of his season and career high. 22 points on the day for Brooks, the best of anybody. And here we go again. Trey O'Neill gets his first bucket, a junior from Denver, Colorado. Back and forth we go. 65, 60, 11, 13 to play in the second half in Stouffer Gymnasium. You were talking about the Mardi Gras season. Yes, and, Oh, my Whoa, goodness. Whoa, are you kidding me? Oh, thank you so much. Absol absolutely. Thank you very much. Why don't you talk about the game? I'm going to sit here and enjoy this. This king cake is uh, a Mardi Gras special. Ladies, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Your hospitality look, is wonderful. I'm showing it here for our viewers. You can see from behind here. All right, we just talked about this for our viewers in Australia and New Zealand. This is a king cake. You can see right here the feet. This is a baby. And the tradition in the king cake is you hide the baby. And if you get the piece of king cake with a baby in it, you have to buy the next king cake for the next party. So the colors of Mardi Gras, purple, green, and gold. Whoa, well, that's a nice treat for Central Arkansas. Oh, here he goes again. That just tied his season and career high. Derek Brooks has 25 points. He has been a remarkable shooter this afternoon. Brooks is 10 for 13 from the field. And a reverse layup on the move is good by Carpenter. Oh, that was on the run down the lane, too. Talk about the toughest of angles to go reverse that way when you're under the rim. Rebound by Thomas. That's nicely done by Real Ye. He saw an opening and he took advantage of it. Yeah. 14 for the senior from New Orleans. And you saw the hesitation too. He thought about shooting it, but it was that hesitation that it opened up the drive and then a great block on the other end by Adam Ward. Adam Ward stuffed it out of Jeff Lowry's hands. Thomas catches it, lays it in, he's fouled. That's what you got to do. Remember I talked about it earlier. You can't throw low passes to him. He's seven feet tall. Throw it up there. And even though he wasn't able to dunk it on the pass for an alley-oop, watch where the pass goes. You put it high to the big fella, let him go up and get it. Then he backs it out, gets the foul on the arm, and is able to put it up and in off the glass. Real Ye collects the assist, the bucket by Thomas, and a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. And that's really the first time we've seen them play to the strengths for the native from Sydney, and that is use his height. I told you he's got four inches on anybody else on this roster. Just throw it up to him. He may not be the biggest, but he can out jump and outreach and get it to him and then let him finish off. That was a well executed play to get it to him on the break. Nichols in a zone. Justin Foreman takes the three. Rebound by Carpenter. Here come the Colonels. They can get this thing to six with a three pointer. Instead, they go down low, and Jadante Fry, who has been very, very quiet this afternoon, comes through with a big bucket. This fellow may need another time out to call the troops. We just talked about as he was talking, Lynn, the last time out. you got to keep doing what you were doing to get you to this point. There's another turnover. It's an over and back violation at midcourt. 15 to fire. The big fellow steps out and banks in a three. I'm not sure how you do that. That's got to be an Australian trick. He was on the baseline and somehow banked in a three-pointer. I just don't know. Physically, I don't know how you do that. That one was from down under. <laughs> yes, it was. Central Arkansas playing tight the last couple of minutes. Thomas sure. knocked it loose, and then it was kicked out, and Foreman didn't get it there. One on two. Offensive rebound and a stick back by T.J. That, how about a 12-0 run from Nichols at home? I'm not surprised. You would think that maybe they'd go to Jordan Howard, but today's game has been defined by Brooks. What a stutter step drive there by T.J. Carpenter, who after he struggled early in the second half, all of a sudden has found his offensive rhythm once again. 22 points for T.J. Carpenter. Central Arkansas by two with a minute and a half to go right now. Nichols remains in the zone. Lowry penetrates. It's fumbled on the wing. This will be a long-range three, and it's knocked home by Justin Foreman. 
Carpenter looking inside, finds the man who turns and scores. That's Fry. Stuffed by Camba. And this one is done. A road victory for Central Arkansas. The Bears come from Conway down to Thibodeau, Louisiana. And in a up-tempo game with both teams at times finding it hard to miss, Central Arkansas wins it 94-83.